Hello and welcome to the Grand Line Review, your source for everything One Piece. Recently some mildly interesting information has popped up in the form of a partially leaked article from V-Jump, which is a monthly publication that focuses on video game based manga. But for whatever reason in this edition we have a section on the one true manga, One Piece. And before I launch into it I first need to give all credit to the Library of Ohara who translated the leaked portion of the article, and there will be a link to him in the description below. But it's some pretty big stuff here as it deals with the bounties of the Yonko. First up the article poses a lovely little question. Question, which is what are the bounties of the Yonko? Hmm, intriguing. Immediately going on to state that the two monstrous individuals known as Big Mom and Kaido are priced at over 2 billion. Now we should take everything here with a healthy dose of skepticism because this was not written by Oda himself, but it would have had to have been approved by him. So with that in mind, it seems to be quite implied that Big Mom and Kaido have bounties of less than 3 billion berries. And that would very much place them within Blackbeard range, which makes some sense, I guess. But I need to stress that we cannot take any fact from such an implication. It is entirely possible that both of them have bounties of over 3 billion, but the only thing we know for sure is that they are over 2 billion. But next we have what is by far the most interesting portion to me concerning a certain Shanks. And I'll read the translation word for word here because it is of great semantic importance. Despite being the only Yonko not to have a devil fruit, he's powerful enough to easily fight against Marine Admiral level. His bounty is the number one highest. So despite a little fumble with the English language there, this is a pretty huge bombshell. First up in one one fell swoop of a random article, out goes every theory in existence on Shanks having a devil fruit. Which is a shame because there were some pretty cool ideas out there, but here we are. He's just a regular old dude bruh, and don't let anybody tell you otherwise. I think that while I very much did enjoy the mystery of Shanks and whether or not he was a fruit user being up in the air, it's nice to know for a fact that he's just a complete beast in his own right. The justification for his strength in this article is that he is able to fight against a marine admiral, and to that I say, that's a pretty terrible measure of strength. I mean admirals are terrifyingly strong beings, don't get me wrong wrong, but not even three of them plus the rest of the entirety of the marines were able to take down a single Yonko, so you'd figure that another Yonko should be able to take on an admiral. But just on this topic, the library of Ohara himself spoke on this matter, telling us to keep in mind that what's written here is very vague, offering that the translation could more pragmatically be masterfully match or something along those lines. I don't know though, it still feels a lot like saying that Luffy is powerful enough to masterfully match Don Krieg. You know, it's just a weird thing to say. Although I guess when you think about it, they don't have a lot of options to compare Shanks to. I guess they could have said he was powerful enough to masterfully match another Yonko, but that's pretty redundant given his position as a Yonko. So hey, Admiral, why not? Actually, you know what? It might even be a direct reference to when Shanks confronted Sakazuki at Marineford. And as for the final portion where it states that Shanks' bounty is the number one highest, well, now that's pretty massive, isn't it? Given that we know so little about Shanks, I've never really tried to put him on a bounty or power scale in comparison to that of the other Yonko. But prior to today, if someone had put a gun to my head and told me to rank the Yonko by bounty value, I probably would have put Shanks below both Whitebeard and Kaido. But this little revelation has given me renewed interest in old red hair. He must be quite something to be considered more dangerous than these absolute monsters we've been examining recently in the series. But hey, I suppose it's entirely possible that he knows where Raftel is, so there's that. That's uh, pretty important and stuff. But before people jump to conclusions regarding the wording of Shanks' bounty being the number one highest, let's take a moment to reflect on how incredibly vague this wording is. Yes, it could mean that Shanks has the highest bounty in the entire One Piece world, which would conflict with the previously conceived notion that that title would belong to Dragon being the most wanted man in the world. I mean, I guess the most wanted may not necessarily necessarily mean the highest priced, but I'm more inclined to believe that through the context of the article, it is implying that Shanks' bounty is number one amongst the Yonko, rather than the highest in the world at large. Interestingly enough, Luffy also gets a little feature of his own in this article, and while he is called the newest Emperor of the Sea, a question mark is strategically placed at the end of that statement, implying that as we suspected, his position isn't exactly confirmed yet. Some people consider him an Emperor, others don't, like Blackbeard. Speaking of, he also does appear in the article, but his segment isn't on this leak. So there is entirely possibly a ton of information to come out when the publication is officially released, and if anything is relevant, then I'll be sure to keep you all informed. But if you enjoyed this video and the content this channel produces in general, then please do consider donating to the Grand Line Review Patreon, because the support of all of you amazing people is what continues to make this channel possible. Also do check out my Teespring store if you're interested in shirts, hoodies, and other miscellaneous items, with the proceeds going directly to support the channel as well. And if you'd like to join the fun, then please do head over to my Discord server, where a wide array of shenaniganry takes place on a daily basis. And finally, please do comment with your thoughts on the Yonko Bounty News. This has been the Grand Line Review, and I'll see you next time.